Good morning, everybody, from me and Freya. She's still not wanting to get up. <clears throat> so, we tried going in deeper to Evangola State Park to find a spot to camp. <clears throat> but there wasn't really any spots that didn't have, like, mass amounts of mosquitoes. I started walking the other side of this disc golf course trying to find a spot. But the mosquitoes are so bad. There's like a wetland over there or something. There's just a lot of standing water. So we started leaving the park and found the end of the disc golf course over here on the other side. Let's see, it'd be on the north side of the park. And crept in here and it wasn't bad at all. Barely any mosquitoes. And the entrance of the park is out that way. Yeah. Exposure is too high. So we snuck in right here, set up camp. And yeah, all we had was deer coming through last night. No skunks. Uh, the other night when we were still in Buffalo, there were skunks by the abandoned uh, building that we were staying at. And Freya went to chase one and I stopped her in time. Man, she probably would have got tagged if, she, <laughs> if I would have let her keep going. And nothing worse than having a dog sprayed by a skunk while you're traveling, which has happened to me twice. And to those who uh, think tomato juice, a tomato juice bath is what does it, no, that's a myth. What you need is a mixture of baking soda, hydrogen peroxide, and Dawn dish soap, and you make a paste out of it. And then you apply that paste over them. Do it like three or four times in the first day. And it'll knock that smell down down to nothing. Huh, Frey, you remember the skunks? Oh, you don't like skunk. You get sprayed, huh? Right in the face. Yeah, you remember. Yeah. You got sprayed gnarly. And yeah, you just apply it and then um, knock it down. And it'll take the smell down to like a tolerable level. And then you can do it again if you want the next day. Um, but yeah, there's nothing worse than the initial. Because then I had to tie her up, go get the supplies, come back. Don't let them anywhere near your equipment or your tent. <laughs> you got to chain them up, chain your dog up somewhere off to the side and hope for the best and go get the supplies and come back. And yeah, it's not fun. But yeah, we were at hole 16 of this disc golf course it's nice and cool here too it's nice to sleep in a little bit but we're gonna get up pack up go get some get some food on the way the next little town and we should hit some uh, native reses so yeah we'll check those out Alright everyone, well, we're going to break camp, I'll check back in later.